So we're back with bunkering today. Bunkering means to take on something in a large account, a large amount, like fuel or oil or something like that. We are taking about 10,000 US gallons today. Um, we are currently on 22,000 gallons. We know, need to go to 32,000 gallons. We're gonna start bunkering and this would be the drip tray. The risk of getting fuel into the ocean, we need to block up the scuppers when and if we have a, a fuel spill. We take plastic bags, we fill them with water, we put them over the scuppers and it will block any fuel from going overboard. Also, what we need to do is we wet the deck in order to protect the deck from any spills because fuel on the deck will definitely leave a mark and then the um, deck department won't be happy with us. What we need to do next is connect the elbow piece to the inlet because that pipe is facing upwards it's very hard to get the hose from the outside to connect to it so we put in an elbow piece so the elbow piece can point in the direction that the um, that the hose will be coming from the biggest issues that we have with bunkering is the potential of spilling fuel so we have to take adequate precaution so that's why we have this stuff it's called a soap kit soap kit is um, ship's oil pollution protection kit so when and if we have an accidental spill these can go into the water it will confine the space that the fuel has actually gone into the water and that will also suck up some of the fuel which means then we can control and mitigate the problem if we run into a problem Two pieces of paperwork. First one is the specification of the fuel. Um, we have to make sure that we are less than 50 parts per million on sulfur, so it needs to be ultra low sulfur. And the other one is just a checklist to make sure that everything that we do here is within regulation for both uh, International Maritime Organization, the IMO, and for the marina as well. So I'm gonna check all this down now and make sure that we've done everything. And after that, we can proceed with bunkering. The dock attendant is handing me the hose. I'm connecting it to the boat and there we go. So now currently it's connected. This valve is closed. This is a supply from shore. That's the valve is uh, closed. That goes into the boat. So currently it's all closed down because we need to secure the uh, connection first. So we're using cable ties to secure the, uh, the connection because sometimes under pressure these connections can jump off. So we use the cable ties, tie it all down, even though it's nice and snug and she's not going anywhere. And this is again just a, a precaution to make sure that we are in a good condition to make, to do this bunkering safe and secure. So in the engine room we have two valves down here. These valves are either for the port or starboard fuel valve station. Open this valve and that will allow fuel to flow into the boat. Righty, now we're in the uh, control room and right here to my left hand side we have the control panel. So on the control panel you can see one, two, three, four, five, six uh, tanks that we're going to fill. Um, <clears throat> these are the valves that we use to control them with, to open and close where we want to put the fuel in. So we'll be working with these stop valves which will be the inlets and then from there on, we are going to fill each and every tank individually. Our total capacity is 34,196 gallons. What we need to do now is open up the tanks that we want to fill in. Click there, go open, you will see that turn green. And then the same with this one, click open and it will turn green. So that means the first fuel will go into these two tanks and these two tanks only. I just spoke to the dock attendant. Now the maximum flow that we can do is 50 gallons per minute. Uh, however, that is not how we're going to start. We normally start at 50%, so 25 gallons a minute for the first 10 minutes, just to make sure that we have the right tank selected down here, that all the valves are open and that we don't have any drips or leaks or upstairs. Thank you very much for joining me. Really appreciate your, your time and sticking around with us, seeing what we do on Unbridled, and we're looking forward to doing the next one with you.